All right, time for the last levels and the last episode of Fabulous 4, funnily enough. Angela's Wedding Disaster, level 59. Elegant and simple. All that's left is Caroline's wedding dress. Angela's starting from scratch, so it's gonna be close. Maybe she's finally gonna learn to be like, what does the customer want? Not do what I want. So we'll set up the wedding right here in the cafe, just like you want it. What kind of wedding were you two thinking of? Any theme we need to consider? We didn't have an, a specific theme or anything in mind. Something small and intimate, really. Just us and a few family and friends. What about Caroline's wedding dress? Did she mention anything about what she wanted? She said she was looking for something elegant and simple. Oh! Oh! She mentioned she liked the look of a sleeveless dress that she saw. I'll go ahead and get to work then. Is that fine with you girls? <laughs> Girl, you know we always fine. Girl, you know we always fine. No, I'm just kidding. Stunning! 
five points under, but... But... Spotless bonus. Dang. Wow, Caroline's dress looks amazing! <laughs> I'm jealous, really. Yeah, I bet it looks great. You're allowed to look, Fran. We won't know if it's right without your feedback. But it's bad luck if the groom sees the dress, right? Superstitious nonsense. Just have a little peek, then! It's... beautiful. Is what I would say if I saw it. Now all we have to do is convince Caroline. That's all you, Fran. I know. I got this. I'll go get her! You just wait right here! Okay. But first, a bonus episode! Bonus level! All these people won a special contest, they get everything for free! Now only bonuses will give you points. Oh dear. <coughs> Alright, I guess. Oh, you get quick bonus as well, yeah. Smart. Cool. Missed it. Sounded like he was somewhere on the right side of the screen. Cool. Yes, I know game things. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've already made it. Haha. <laughs> Alright, 
Last level, level 60! The wedding! Sebastian is getting on a bit. Make sure he walks no no blah. Make sure he walks no more than 700 meters. Alright. Where's Caroline? She's already gone. The landlady said she left for the airport an hour ago. She's taking the 8 o'clock flight. Oh no, that's in 15 minutes. We've got to get to the airport and fast. Really, you're going to get to the airport in 15 minutes? In New York traffic, we'll never make it in time. She's not picking up her phone either. Oh, I know. I've got an idea. Everyone, follow me. Don't worry about this old man, Angie. Go with him. I'm sorry. Don't worry about this old man, Angie. Go with him. Oh dear. I know. Smart. Stunning. Well. 
cool. There, we had quite a bit left actually. Ha, <laughs> I budgeted that. Incredible. I budgeted those 700 meters well. Or whatever. Fabulous. Trophy unlocked! Arctic apparel, okay. And some fire and. Alright, they made it there in 15 minutes. Greetings, everyone! This is your captain speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts as we prepare for takeoff. Um. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? They wouldn't even be let in here. Caroline, don't go! I still love you, Caroline! I still want to get married and spend the rest of my life with you! No matter what happens, we can make it work! I know we can! So please, stop this plane! She can't stop the plane, dude! You'll just have to wait for her to fly back! What the cr Oh my god. They- They don't let you- Ride a donkey onto the tracks, and they're definitely not gonna stop the plane in the middle of everything. Like, no. Safety hazards. Seriously. Oh, please. Caroline! Freya and I... What if everything goes wrong? I just... Okay, something's always gonna get wrong in life. That's how it works. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna be 100% everything goes right all the time. That's not how it works. Even I understand that. And I get sad every time things don't work out. Like, shice. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. I'm sorry, I can't read this seriously. This is like too over the top. But as long as we're together, we can make it through anything. What the crap? Okay. Hey, Angela looks good in short hair. She should do that. Veronica, whatever her name is, she looks weird. She should have her hair fluffy. I have one more present for you. My guitar, but how did you... You ran back into the fire for me? Well, I know how important it is to you and... You are important to me. Well, why not give us a song? Sometimes the world is spinning past me, moving so fast I lose my 
my place in the thick of it all But when you are smiling back at me I feel the sunbeams You make me feel like the problems are small And I don't mind No mice were harmed in the production of this game. Good to know. Woohoo! Alright, let's go look at our trophies. Uh, get one diamond in an endless level. Do not care. Buy a diamond using coins. We can do that. That's fine. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Um, take three pictures of your model, each wearing a different outfit. We can do that. Make 20 fabulous combos. Oh, I, I have six left. Interesting. Uh, get 100. Collect 150 diamonds. All right, cool. All right, let's do the model thing in the bob. Angela made this dress during the time, delicious prison dress. Made this time during uh, the time she spent buying bars. It's covered in Emily's trademark orange with white polka dots. Maybe Angela has a few issues left to work out. Angela's reunion dress. It's a dress Angela wore to her high school reunion. She made it herself, obviously. Who else makes clothes as pink and blue as this? Emily's apron! Emily's classic familiar outfit. The green and orange has served Emily well for more than 10 years. Don't you think it's time for a makeover though? No, not really. Allison's coat. It's Allison Hart's lab coat. It's practical, classy, and professional. Angela and Allison might not have met before, but I'm sure Angela would approve of the pink shirt. Rainbow dress! The colors of the rainbow are so pretty in the sky, and they look even better on this flashy dress! Woohoo! Would also totally work at a pride parade. Long bridal gown. A simple yet stunningly effective bridal gown. Works for any wedding, big or small. It does show off a little bit of leg though. We have Angela to blame for that. Pattern gown. What's that pattern supposed to be? Mountain symbols? <laughs> Either way, this dress looks amazing and will steal the show at any event. Brazilian carnival dress. Angela may or may not have taken this little thing home with her from when she was in Rio for Truly's fashion contest. You don't think it's too risque, do you? <laughs> no, there are definitely more risque dresses out there. Emerald shirt. This long shirt is perfect for a lazy Sunday afternoon. Just sit back, relax, and play a Game House original story. Queen for a day dress. Kind of feels like you'd get a boost of speed if you ran over this dress. Anyway, this is one of Angela's queen for a day dresses. Yummy's dress. One of Angela's old rivals wore this dress a lot. As, a, as an aside, Yummy's real name is Yumi. Don't tell anyone. Kitty's trench coat. It's Kitty's trusty trench coat. It combines feminine elegance with a pinch of mystery. Golden dress. If you want to be the center of attention, try this golden glittery dress. Futuristic angled dress. People will stop and stare from all angles if you're wearing this dress. Triangular dress. There's triangles all over this dress. Somebody really triangled their best, huh? Glittery pattern dress. The unique swirly pattern covers the side of this dress. I bet whoever designed this spent more time on the pattern than the garment itself. Looks good though. Rose white dress. Everybody knows vertical stripes slim you down. The roses on the other hand probably don't. Starry night dress. This dress will leave astronomers mystified. Everybody who isn't an astronomer will just think it's pretty. I forgot to actually put all the dresses on for like... One sleeve dress. A unique one sleeved purple dress. This kind of dress usually comes in black so the purple will really make you stand out. Pink tube dress. This dress looks like it was made out of a bunch of shiny pink tubes. It might show off your uh, assets a lot. One for the bold. Bruna's dress. This dress was made by Bruna, a fashion designer from Brazil, who was featured in Truly's fashion show. It is quite showy. Priya's wedding dress. This is the dress Angela made for Priya. Sebastian is quite fond of this one since it's the first time Angela actually listened to his advice. That's actually pretty nice. 
crimson bathrobe. These look suspiciously like the robes people wore during fashion fever. Either way, maybe think twice before taking these anywhere beyond your own bathroom. Actually, I like Priya's wedding dress. I'm not gonna save the desktop, but yeah. Uh, 90s Angela's top. Only 90s kids will remember this! Oh my god, you did not just put this meme in. This short top is part of the first set of clothes Angela ever made. Don't diss the classics. Angela's off shoulder. One of Angela's favorite glittery shirts. Did she make this shirt herself or did she just pour glitter on something she found in the store? Who knows? This shirt looks more professional than Sally herself. Don't tell her I said that. We'll see if we can manage to buy everything. <laughs> game house hoodie. The teams who work tirelessly on the game house original stories often wear these hoodies. They're comfy and easy to pull off. Blue giraffe sweater. We all love our pink flamingos, but blue giraffes can be pretty awesome too. This sweater is from the team behind the Hearts Medicine games. Striped shirt. Everybody knows that horizontal stripes make you look slimmer, right? This fitted shirt is the perfect comfy yet pretty combination. Yellow off-shoulder, sunlight, bananas, pineapples, blonde hair, stars, lemons, daffodils, ca cabs, grapefruits, this shirt. Letter sweater, a scarlet off-shoulder sweater combined with a black tank top underneath. What does the A stand for? And nobody knows. Twilight attire, this kind of clothing is only suitable for the smartest of the smart, like our librarians, scientists, or per people who like purple. Yellow crop top. The same designer who made the yellow off shoulder also made this top. She really likes yellow, doesn't she? One Star brand shirt. It's a shirt for a cool rock band called the One Stars. They were very popular when Angela was still in high school. Fringe bikini top. Seeing this top makes me want to go to the beach, sun, sand, the ocean. What's not to love? Academic shirt and sweater. A shirt and sweater combo that makes you look like you stepped right out of a high-class university. Maybe if you had pants on. Sleeveless turtleneck. This turtleneck is both sophisticated and trendy at the same time. It's even colored like a turtle. Well, kind of. White top. This top is tight and white. Kitty used to wear tops like these back in high school. They might be a little too small for her now, though. It's a little too revealing. Formal blouse. Kitty is clothing of choice. It makes her look professional, but not overly strict, even if she sometimes can be. Very low neck. Four-leaf clover top. It's a single four-leaf clover. If a single four-leaf clover brings you good luck, lots of clovers are bound to bring you lots of good luck. That's why we put a whole bunch on the sleeveless shirt. Studded crop top. If you want to show off your belly button, this is the crop top to do it in. Kitty's pink top. Kitty wore this top to Angela's high school reunion. Maybe it's for the best that she stopped wearing it though. Pink is so not her color. Janet's red shirt. It's the biggest, bigger version of Janet's favorite shirt from high school. She doesn't wear red anymore though. I wonder why. Bla plus blouse. This blouse is covered in tiny plus signs. Well, I think it's cute at least. Janice's blue shirt. It's a bigger version of Janice's not-so-favorite shirt from high school. Angela thinks she would have looked better in blue, although she'll never tell Janet that. Flamingo shirt. Pink fluff. What more do you need? The Carl shirt. Carl is the name of the iconic mouse that just can't stop himself from showing up in various stores. It's almost as if he follows Angela and Emily around. We're not going to be able to buy everything. <laughs> You're, we're gonna have to work for... Actually, I think we can buy for our... I don't need the money for anything, so boom, 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 boom. There we go. See how much we can buy. 90s Angela skirt. Denim skirts are still in, right? This skirt is part of the first set of clothes Angela ever made. Angela skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are all the rage, and Angela can pull them off with style and ease. Don't you think it makes her butt look a little big, though? Sally's pants. Sally's pants are really groovy, don't you think? Maybe they're just perfect for her. 
hot pants, smoking hot hot pants, that's where it's at, because you've got to use what you've got to get what you want. Okay. Flowery skirt. Who says flower patterns are old fashioned? Who says blah who says knee length skirts are for moms? Because they might be a little bit right. Only a little though. Uh love pants. Is love more important than fashion? Apparently so, and whoever designed this these certainly wanted to show it. Yeah, the pants cost like a lot, or the skirts and stuff. Uh, torn jeans. These jeans are lightly torn around the knees. Angela on once came into work with completely torn jeans, exposing her legs. Victoria sent her back home to change. Pink poof skirt. Pink poof extravaganza. You know how flamingos really like pink? Well, let's just assume they really enjoy poofy things too. There. Kaboom. Um, denim shorts. Fuzzy shorts that should go well with anything. If you don't want to shave your legs for it, why not wear tights or stockings underneath? Hmm, maybe. Uh, hip neon skirt. This skirt almost looks like it could light up. It certainly has a technological vibe going on, that's for sure. Kitty's long skirt. This is the skirt Kitty wore to Angela's high school reunion. Do you think she wears it to work sometimes? Do lawyers do Fancy Friday? Janet's skirt. It's Janet's skirt from high school, only bigger. Her dad chose the skirt for her, so she wore it even though she found it a bit childish. Layered miniskirt. Miniskirts manage to bo be both cute and sexy at the same time. Wear this if you want all ice on you. Yuna's pants. Have you played Angela's Fashion Fever? Then you might remember one of the contestants, Yuna. Just don't ask how I got her pants. Button front skirt. Che chic yet fashionable. Works best with a dark sleeveless top. Green yoga pants. Shorts. These shorts are a go at the, are a go at the traffic light. Wear these to your local yoga classes or during a lazy day home. Red yoga shorts. Be sure to stop at the red light and check out these shorts. Wear these to your local yoga classes or during a lazy day at home. Long black skirt. Show off a little bit of leg with this long black skirt. Great for events with a dress code, but not too much of a dress code. There's so much left to look at. Because there's text to everything. That's why I'm like trying to read everything. Classy cowgirl boots for cowgirls with class. Don't wear these on the farm though. They're a bit too expensive to be rolled around in the mud. Blue and gold heels. Are these heels white and gold or blue and black? Actually, they're both, and they've got glitter. What more could you want? Sneakers. The classic footwear sneakers. They're comfortable for sure, but just don't wear them these on the red carpet, okay? Promise? Purple heels. These heels are simple yet classy. You can wear them to any fancy event or semi-fancy event or quarter fancy event or... Small boots. These small boots pack a lot of fashion punch or kick. It's hard to say. In any case, they're perfect for your day-to-day -day affairs. Pink glam boots. These glamorous pink boots are just screaming for attention. What's that? You want to buy them? Then the screaming must have worked. Haha. -ha. Star sneakers. These simple sneakers are actually made by a huge brand. They look cheap, but looks can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> There's a jab at Converse. Socks with sandals. Why? Why would you do this? Who in their right mind would do this to themselves? Nay to the world. Green shoes. Sturdy green shoes. Perfect for gardening, long hikes, and other outdoor work. In short, all the things Angela hates doing. Futuristic heels. These heels look like they come from the year 2050. If you wear them now, you'll be a very early trendsetter. Simple shoes. The, this simple set of shoes is perfect for indoor wear. They look really comfortable, but they aren't exactly suitable for any sort of event. Leather boots. Looking for a rough, edgy look? Then look no further than these black leather boots. They're also perfect if you just enjoy wearing dark clothing. Pink shoes. Pink shoes on sale, never worn. They might actually go well with this too. No. Brown and blues. This color scheme is sort of boyish. Wear these if you got the blues. Dinosaur slippers. I'm not sure if these count as shoes. Then again, who doesn't want to be an awesome T-Rex? Allison's stethoscope. Angela just called this Allison's listen thingy. It's a stethoscope, Angela. Stethoscope. 
Crimson scarf. This scarf is comfortable, warm, and fashionable. Just don't wear it in the summer. Oh, never mind. Just wear what you like. Fake fur boa. Don't worry, this boa is made of fake fur. We have standards, you know, but doesn't it just look like the real thing? Oh no, that was not good. Uh, big Puppy Majestic. All dogs are puppies, according to Angela, anyway. Do you remember Majestic from Fashion Fever? Just don't tell truly. Pink Clutch. This is the kind of small purse Angela would love. It's totally her color! Hey, what's your favorite color, anyway? Oh, yeah. Malachite Clutch. If you want to keep everything on hand, a clutch is the perfect tool for the job. Is it really, though? Because they're so small, I would never fit everything I need with me all the time. This Malachi colored one is certainly high profile too. Red and gold purse. You can put everything you need in this easy to carry purse and look good while doing it. Silver bracelet. Cool and stylish. A silver bracelet is great for when you want your beauty to go understated. Bracelet assortment. If you ever think you're wearing enough bracelets, <laughs> well, <laughs> you're wrong. You can always use more bracelets. Always. Angela's double bra belts. A pair of belts in Angela's two favorite colors. She happily wears both at the same time as a fashion statement. Or maybe she just can't decide which one she likes more. Studded belt. A flashy belt for a flashy person. You need confidence to pull this look off. Wear this flashy or don't wear it at all. Leather belt. This leather belt is simple and goes with any practical or professional outfit. The perfect belt to keep your pants up if your diet's gone too far. Sunglasses. A simple pair of sunglasses for protecting your eyes from the evil glares of the sun. Or you can just put them on your head. Sally's stylish spectacles. These glasses belong to a certain stylish stylist. Maybe Angela should visit Sally sometime soon. Yeah, we, I have the Sally games. Sally salon games on my list. Just haven't gotten to them yet. Uh, reading glasses. They're reading glasses. Glasses for reading. Some people wear them as a fashion accessory though. Vintage sunglasses. These glasses have an almost 70s vibe. Groovy, baby. Flamingo mask. You could wear this flamingo mask to a fancy masquerade. You'd be the talk of the town for sure. Oh, okay. It's instead of the clutch, uh, I guess. Aviator sunglasses. The quintessential pair of sunglasses. Wear them out inside or during winter for maximum sun blocking efficiency. Pretty much. Oh, Angela's leather jacket. This is the go-getter's ideal outfit. The burning red color screams for action and attention. No wonder Angela likes it. Penny's puffer jacket. This coat belongs to Jenny. Green is her favorite color and it's great for a rainy day. Short sleeve jacket. This is a chic short sleeve jacket. Wear over a dress for an elegant modern look. Snugford High Varsity Jacket. A classic high school varsity jacket. Snugford High's logo is emblazoned on the back. Aviator Jacket. This woolly aviator jacket is perfect for cold weather and also if you're a pilot, obviously. Yellow Jacket. Look at this sunny yellow jacket. It's bright. A bit too bright, maybe? What do you think? Dark Blue Jacket. This is the fanciest short jacket we have. Dark blue goes with everything. Sleeveless denim jacket. The 90s look redone for the modern fashion era. Denim jackets are hot if you keep them in this darkish color, that is. Denim jacket. The true 90s look. Can you believe some people still wear this? Wait, don't tell me. You want to wear this? Nah. Flamingo hair wrap. Disguise yourself as a flamingo by using this neat hair wrap. Or is it just a very strange hat? That's eh, a very strange hat, but let's go. Artistic beret. True artists very b wear a berets, especially green ones. Did you know military berets were first introduced in 1889? Yet artists and noblemen have been wearing them since the Bronze Age. Yeah, sure. 19 snapback. How do you do, fellow kids? This snapback is still totally hip and cool, and not at all a relic from the 90s. Yeah, sure. Flower hair piece. Who doesn't love flowers? Well, I guess most men don't, but who cares about them? Sounds kind of stereotyping, but okay. Headset, the perfect accessory for all you audiophiles out there. Angela's favorite band, the Cable Smokers. Blue bow tie. This bow tie is sort of similar to the one the TV doctor wears. What was his name again? Doctor Where? Doctor When? Doctor What? Red bow tie. Is it's a TV doctor bow tie again? Doctor What? Doctor Why? No, wait, I got it. Doctor Whom? Then we have the uh, 
the models. Dia this is Diana. This is Timisha. This is Arieka. Arieka. This is Christine. Christine was randomly plucked out of obscurity by Truly five years ago, who taught her how to become a world famous model. Eleanor! As an ex reality TV star, Eleanor had to work hard to prove herself in the world of fashion modeling. Melissa, from the ballet dance floor to the catwalk, Melissa uses her own ta her many talents to set herself apart in the in a most competitive industry. Why can't we get the stories of these three? Oh no! Here we go, Timisha. Kabam! All right, cool. We've looked at everything. Can't buy everything, but I've read every single one, so that's fine. We're missing one of each. That's nice. But that means that... All right, I can't go to the main menu from here, I think. Anyways, that means we're done with this game, though. We've played every level and... Okay, so I still haven't gotten the last diamond on this level and I honestly don't care because it's just blah. I don't understand how it works, so... But basically, and I've skipped endless levels, but otherwise, story-wise, we've done everything and looked at all the clothes and stuff. But, I mean, if you want to buy all the clothes, you'll have to, you know, play the endless levels, I guess, a bunch, which is the point. Um, but I mean, by all means, some... Some continued playability in the games is cool. Um, and uh, yeah, happy ending, which is good. And uh, very dramatic, but solid gameplay. Yeah. But thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. And I will see you all for some other adventures. So take care and bye bye.